Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Today we'll be showing you how to get started in God Eater 2 in Japanese. This game has just come out recently in Japan. It's very, very popular as far as I've been told. Um, and it is a monster sort of hunting action game. So it's just like Monster Hunter in many ways, but um, with its own kind of flair and style. So let's get straight in and show you how to get started in God Eater 2 in Japanese. You'll need a PS Vita, obviously, or a PS Vita TV. And uh, today we'll be using an iPad and Midori, which is a Japanese dictionary to help us um, find kanji words. Also, you'll need God Eater 2, the video game. This is a retail copy of the game, but you could just as well download it from the store. Okay, so you have your PS Vita here. Let's just go ahead and switch it on. Now just head over to the PSN store. This is assuming you've already signed in to the Japanese store. We'll just go over to new content and find God Eater 2. It's as easy as clicking this game here. There's a trial version as well if you want to try it out first. And that should be enough actually. Because the trial version really is the same as the beginning of the game. If you have 6,000 yen to spare, you can go ahead and click download now. Let's get started. God Eater 2. Let's click it now. So make sure you've got all the updates downloaded and everything, and then head straight in. Okay, so this is the God Eater opening movie. We can just skip past this by pressing start. And now we're at the title menu, so it says press start button to go ahead. And let's select new game. Okay, so this is the character entry screen. This is where you're going to make your character. This first box here says Namae. You need to type your name in here. Just to show you how to type in your name in English, if you want to, just go ahead and press the select button. It says you can change the mode of input here by pressing select. So let's go ahead and press select, and we can type our name in English here. Triangle opens up the caps lock button. So I'll go ahead and type in my name here, and press start here to select it. And you have a code name that you can also choose, so it says code or name it. Let's go ahead and call ourselves something cool, how about, how about Nihongo Gamer? And let's go ahead and press start to go ahead. We'll make ourselves a male character, just for the sake of moving ahead swiftly. This is where you will create your character. Now the first one here says hairstyle. It says Hairstyle. So let's we can actually choose from one of about let's see 20 different hairstyles. The next one says accessory. So choosing this will choose whether you have um, black, white, or pink nekomimi. Okay, the next kanji I don't know, so I'm just going to type it into my dictionary. This is the kanji that we're looking for. Type it in here. Okay, the dictionary says it means common. Kyotsu. So let's go ahead and choose our common accessory. Hair color. So that's quite uh, self-explanatory. We can click circle here. Left, and moves, left stick moves our character around, holding down triangle. And the left stick changes our hair color. This first one says akarusa, that's a brightness. So let's turn our brightness right up. This is the amount of red that's in the color. This is the amount of green that's in the color. And this is the amount of blue. Tsu. It says gloss or glaze. Tsuya means gloss and glaze. Let's have plenty of that. Next one says face in katakana. Let's just stick with the default one, number one. And the next one says eye color. So let's choose our eye color and skin color. We can choose this to change our skin color. So just like before, holding down triangle and the left stick, we can change our skin color and choose our voice. Now to choose, now to actually listen to what kind of voice he's got, we can press triangle. Great, so this voice sounds pretty cool to me. And um, now we can go down here to this last option here in the bottom left hand side, it says Kette. We want to use that to make our decision. So let's go ahead and press circle. 
and it will then ask you, would you like to decide on this character? Let's go ahead and say yes. So height on the left here means yes. Here's my other fire save file. I'll just move here to the second one and we've saved. So here we have the opening movie running up. You can enjoy this in your own time. One of the best features about God Eater 2 is that you can watch any of these videos whenever you feel like it at a later time. So even if you don't have time to watch it all now, you can actually skip it and, and um, watch it later. Okay, another movie coming up here. I think we can probably afford to skip this as well. Something that's really nice about this game is that it does have kanji subtitles written at the bottom during the cutscenes, so you can practice your kanji. You can actually go ahead and switch those subtitles off if you need a, if you want to test yourself on whether you've learned those kanji or not. So here we are uh, in the game. So this is the main screen, the main lobby area in this game. So in order to get started, let's go and chat to this girl here, her name's Fran. She'll say a bunch of things that are not particularly interesting. And after you say wakarimashita here at the end, it means I understand, she will tell you that you need to go to the garden upstairs. So you can see there, that's the word for garden here. Let's just go ahead and run up to the garden. That's the next floor up. And there's a little cutscene where you get to chat to some guy sitting underneath the tree. So this guy's name is Julius. Once we've talked to him, we'll be able to get on with the game. So I'll just skip past what he says here. And now we're back in control. So let's leave the garden and head back to the lobby. So I'll go down here. It says, it says, Friar lo Lobby. Now we've made it to the lobby. Let's go and talk to Fran, figure out what we should do next. This is the first, the first option is the one that's going to let us choose the mission. So I'll go ahead and click that here. And here you can see, first basic story mission. So there's only one mission you can choose. Let's go ahead and click it. Uh, it looks like Chris is a member of the team and there's no one else. That's because this next, this mission is actually a training mission. Press OK. Now in order to actually go on the mission, we need to run over here to the right side. After you've chosen what mission you want to do, you always come here to the right side where the uh, large elevator is, and then we just press OK. OK, so this is the first training mission in God Eater. The instructions will come up here in the middle. Let's show you how to uh, interpret these instructions. The first one says, use the direction pads to move the camera around. So we can move the camera by pressing the left and up and down buttons here. We can also use the right stick to control those things. Now if you want to move around, it's telling us that we can use the left stick to walk and the left stick and R to run. So left stick moves us around. Holding down R lets us run. Next instruction says X button to jump. So as you can see, X button lets us jump. You can also see the next notice here says if you go somewhere tall, or high up, going up there and jumping means that you can hang onto the ledge just by jumping up to it. Pressing up will let you, will pull you up onto the ledge. The next one says this is your ST gauge. It's explaining to you what your ST gauge does. It's basically your stamina. So if you hold down R like this and you run around, you'll see that that ST gauge, the white one at the top, that is depleting slowly as we run around. Eventually it will completely run out and I'll be unable to move for a few moments. So it's about to run out and now I'm tired. So you can see I'm unable to move for a few seconds. Now it's showing us two different types of attack, square attacks and triangle attacks. So square attacks and triangle attacks. That was quite easy. All we had to do was press square a number of times. Now it says here, R button does a form change. Now the nice thing about God Eater is that you, your weapon is able to change, you're able to change from the gun weapon to your sword weapon just by pressing R. So if I tap the button only once, it turns into a gun like this. If I tap it again, it switches back to the sword. And you can see here in the middle, it says OP gauge. Now OP gauge is the green bar in the middle. That shows us how much firepower we have. Um, pressing triangle or square will fire our gun, 
but only as much as we have energy. So this green, once this green bar is depleted, we will run out of energy. So let's go ahead and attack the enemy like this. And we finished the first mission. So basically, that shows you how to move around and do all the basics um, in God Eater to get you started. The mission's now clear, all we have to do is wait. And this is the result screen. Now to move past all this, this is all the uh, money and things that we've received. Um, pressing the circle button moves on to the next screen. So press circle to move on. Again, we can press tr square button here and that will sell everything that we just received. But well, we don't want to do that, we just want to collect everything. So let's press the circle button. We got an excellent score because we're so good at God Eater 2. Press circle button again to move on. And another cutscene. So we'll just skip past this cutscene for now. And let's save our data. High on the left to do yes. And it's done. Nice and fast. Let's just run up to the terminal here and press circle. Can you see it says terminal? We click circle here to open up our terminal. And there's a bunch of options. So the first option here allows us to leave things in our storage box. We just go ahead, choose, select it here, and then we press triangle. Triangle will send it to our box. The second option here is how to remove things from the box. We can go ahead and take it back. So now we have it in our box again. The next option down here is how to change your armor. We have two weapons, a shield, and a number of accessories that we can equip. This next option here allows you to change the types of bullets that are kept in your gun. You can only have a certain number and a certain kind of bullet for each gun. And the last one here is to change your looks. So if you go to this option, again, you can change your hairstyle and your accessory. The fourth option here is the way to make items. If you have the correct items in God Eater 2, you can actually make new weapons and improve old weapons. So this first option lets you improve your old weapons. There's a number of upgrades you can do. And this next option lets you create those things. So instead of just improving them, this is to actually create new ones. Database here. So this is uh, your information database. If there's anything you need to uh, catch up on information-wise, it will explain it all to you here in the database. All in Japanese, of course. This option here is save, seibu, and finally, this last option here lets you start a multiplayer game. If you want to start playing multiplayer games with your friends, you need to go to this option here. It says, start a new multiplayer game. If we press circle, it will ask if we want to save the game. Let's say yes. And it brings us to the title screen. From here, if you want to play a multiplayer game with your friends via ad hoc, all you need to do is go to Continue Multi. Continue Single will let you play your normal single player game. Continue Multi will start a, a chat room where you can invite your friends to play multiplayer. So if I just choose my save game here, you can see I can already start a new chat room. All I do is choose a team name, press Start, and any friends that join that team in my nearby area will show up here, here, and here. Okay, so we've shown you pretty much everything you need to know to get started in God Eater 2. You figured out how to start your game, and you know how to continue your game, and you also know how to start a multiplayer game. And more or less, you now know how to control everything with the sticks and the buttons. So I hope that was really useful, and um, as you can see, this is how we always study Japanese at Nihongo Gamer. We have some kind of electric dictionary open here, and the game open here. And it helps to have one of these stands, because then your hands are kind of free to activate your dictionary and check words. So there you go. How to get started in God Eater 2 on PS Vita in Japanese. Thanks.